was the crown fair? Um, since the broadcast of the uh, Netflix television series, uh, The Crown, there's been a lot of debate about whether it's accurate, destructive, uh, damaging, and the like. Some will claim that the whole uh, endeavor is reprehensible <laughs> and to be avoided, while others see it as quite a fair commentary on the monarchy and the royal situation. So, who's right about this? Uh, of course, as usual, I look at both sides. First of all, let's uh, examine uh, those who would say that the crown is a fair representation. Well, what are their arguments? Well, I think their principal point is that uh, complaining about factual errors, which is what we've heard a lot of uh, from those attacking the crown, complaining about factual errors misses the point, uh, and that the real thrust of the crown is to demonstrate some of the characteristics, some positive, some negative, um, and the way it has uh, presented itself to the nation in recent years. Uh, most, I'm afraid, will conclude that it has become an antiquated and irrelevant waste of money. Also, uh, throughout the series, uh, much of the focus has been on Diana and the well-known story about uh, her status, her treatment by the palace and by Prince Charles. A pretty unpleasant <laughs> part of the whole history, really. Uh, there's no denying this, and those who object to this, uh, they are really embarrassed by it, and they just wish it wouldn't be mentioned. <laughs> uh, even Prince Harry, uh, that uh, notable observer of the royal scene, has said that it gives a pretty good idea of what living as a royal was like. He, he confirms it. it. It's not only entertaining, but it's very fair. Well, what about those who say, absolutely not, it is not fair, it is not only a an inaccurate representation, but it is really uh, not something that we should tolerate. They point in particular to dramatized incidents that uh, according uh, to those who should know, never happened. Uh, they say that's unfair because it leads uh, naive watchers to believe that these things really did happen <laughs> and that they are therefore being led to believe that there are aspects of the monarchy which should be changed, and that in itself is unfair. Truth is always <laughs> elusive, but in this case it's uh, gone out the window. Uh, the other argument uh, about is about the treatment of the queen, who is seen to be dull and out of touch. And in a particularly uh, touching scene, the Duke of Edinburgh tells her as much. Nothing could be so inaccurate and unfair to our late dear queen. The entire series is a scurrilous uh, misrepresentation of our treasured monarchy. Uh, it is clearly unfair and something that should be uh, uh, despised and rejected. <laughs> well, what about my take? Well, it's obvious that the opinions on this subject about whether or not the crown was a fair representation or not, they line up virtually completely with one's sentiments about the monarchy itself. The rabid Republicans will think it was great, while the devout monarchists uh, think it was awful. My view is that it uh, reflects a monarchy which has really become adrift and less able to cope with modern times run as it was for many years by a monarch who insisted upon not changing anything. She even made that statement at her coronation that that was her intention. And some of the tensions in the series uh, that we've just uh, watched actually address that point and, and concern themselves with whether it was the Queen or Prince Charles who had a better sense of what modern Britain represented. So the issue has been on the table whether we like to admit it or not. Uh, the series also underlines the great luxury in which the monarchy exists, and one might well question whether that continues to be appropriate in modern times and in our current circumstances. I'm afraid that I believe that it simply isn't and needs the vigorous reform 
that Charles simply will not give it. Well, that certainly will <laughs> offend some people. Uh, but in any case, if you liked it, uh, please respond accordingly. Uh, please subscribe. And thanks a lot. And I'll see you at the next one. Bye-bye.